We return to Brotato for the unarmed run. I've been trying many different runs of this game, and this one seems like something crazy that we don't even know what will happen. I have not done this one yet, but I'm doing on the base difficulty because I do find that this game's... Uh, this game becomes a struggle. It's very hard. I've been playing with some builds that have worked for me for... Uh, oh, here we go. We'll, we'll be going with... Let's go with luck at the very beginning. We will raise our luck and just refuse everything. These are unacceptable pickups. Are these technically... No, these are just unarmed. They're not necessarily primitive. But we can just go straight into the unarmed lifestyle here. My, uh, taking off the range. And now, range, arguably, we do want a bit of it. Because we want our fists to be able to get some bit of farther away from us, that is to say. I've been playing a lot of engineer builds, but not having so much luck. So I'm I'm going at kind of the ape run lifestyle here and just doing whatever feels good. I think I'm getting better, but I can't honestly be sure. I can't honestly be sure because I've also been trying builds that just make me feel good and aren't necessarily good. <laughs> We will raise our attacks, Peter. Although we could bring back up the range slightly. Lower range also decreases the cooldown of melee weapons. It's kind of like you could go so far down, but then you'd just be getting things right nearby you. Let's raise our attack speed because then maybe we could rapidly punch people that get really close to us. And that sounds exciting. I'm not sure it is, but it sounds it, doesn't it? Ooh, two more fists. Wow, very exciting. Getting more attraction to the uh, other stuff, too. I mean, it feels good to be doing this character because I was just doing multitasker, which has 12 items. That's a lot of items. Twice as many as the standard build, and you can't really upgrade stuff, so you aren't really... Uh, well, you aren't really recycling in this one, either. We could get the flaming fists of fury. Although I am seeing that this character... It just looks kind of odd with the... With the pinwheel hat. But well, vaguely tough, but also vaguely like nice boy at the same time. Well, that was a very clutch ending to that wave. We will continue raising our melee damage by a lot, I think. I guess the idea of the dodge might be good here because we're gonna have to get close, close up with people. Up close and personal, as they say. Okay, I'm thinking that this, since we're pretty powerful right now, I think I'm just going to take the scar. I'm also going to lock in the turret because pretty much every run of Brotato turns into an engineering run if you wait long enough. So you might as well just get those upgrades. I'm trying to think of any alternatives that just never use engineer. Nah, none are coming to mind. They always devolve into engineer runs, which is why I usually just try to give in to it from the very beginning. I went straight at that. What am I doing? But man, this attack speed is great. I haven't seen that we hit a, an actual floor in how far our fists go, but this is quite powerful, at least in comparison to my last character that I was playing, which was just a guy who would run around, well, really run away, um, with a bunch of wrenches. It might not hurt to get better speed here as well. I'm thinking that could work in this build, but luck is always good, sort of. We could build armor as well, but I think we'll focus on dodge here, believe it or not. Believe- Ripley's believe it or not. Well, do you believe it, or do you not? Don't just sit there. There we are. We- I will save the six-fist lifestyle for a few moments from now, but yes, fortunately we have now got the six fists. <clears throat> it sounds like one of the nine to- like some sort of QB being from Naruto. The- the fist of the six fists, and suddenly bo 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 comes out with the fist of the nose hair. Ancient anime references you wouldn't understand, because now my audience is getting younger and younger than me, and I am aging. Although, I don't know, that is to say, I've been having a good time with Brotato. Um, and it, just honestly, at the beginning of this year, a very good time with the VOD channel. I've been using it to try out a lot of stuff. I do have those cerebral games that I enjoy. There comes the word cerebral again. Um, uh, stuff like Colony Builders, but I figure on the VOD channel, it's kind of been a nice uh, way to do things to just kind of try out stuff we want to. Chance to double the value. Um, oh, perhaps this is what I was getting on another run when I... I will just take this free range. We don't want to get too, 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 too low. But maybe even, maybe the metal detector would be okay for right now. I mean, we're only on wave six. I'll allow it for myself. 
There we are. Only 5% chance, but then we might be able to get four times the materials. That would be very high, because four is a high number, relatively speaking. But yeah, no, I mean, it's been a good way to uh, just bring in, ring in the new year, as they say. Why do they say that, ring in the new year? Well, we're that's what we're doing. We're ringing in 2023. I know we're on February. But I still sometimes accidentally write the last year's date when I'm trying to date things. You know, I pretty much do that up until March. Probably you've done that too. Or if you haven't, maybe you're just very intelligent and have good situational awareness. I don't, unfortunately, which is why I, I'm good at the planning part, in theory. Or I like to think I'm good at it in Brotator. We'll take the- because everything becomes engineering, like I said. We'll just take more luck. Let's just keep building it up. Whether or not it's for my own good. Whether or not. We'll save the banner. The banner is quite good. And I feel like taking the wrench because, like I said, everything becomes an engineering build, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, okay, Flaming Brass Knuckles. Honestly, I've not really done the fist build, so maybe I should be building Elemental, now that I think of it. Hmm. An interesting proposal. I think we could bring ourselves down to, uh, what is it, five fists? I'm just gonna call this the six fist run. Whether they're flaming, whether they have brass knuckles, is up to me to decide. It did bother me though, because I tried recording a 12 wrench run, and I wound up with 11 wrenches in the end. And so, for the for the love of God, I had to uh, I had to refilm it because I was just I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to publish it. As it happens, I also wasn't recording, and then I've so far not been able to duplicate it. But Rodato is just one of those games, you know. It's uh. I, I think I'm at like 15 hours in the game. Which isn't really that much, but I've found it to be a good combination of mindless entertainment and ASMR because of all the, the the sounds of things hitting each other in this game is just really satisfying. As well as, you know, it keeps me thinking about it when I'm away because I consider what other sorts of builds I could be doing. Which is good because I have a problematic and dangerous addiction to video games. I guess we'll start to raise our elemental because we're going to be going with that flaming fist. Have! Oh wait, I don't have a... Uh, I'll just have to combine those. I thought I could just shout have at the thing that I wanted, and then it would be mine. You ever wander into a store like that? Have! Have! Sir! Uh, that hasn't happened yet, but if I deteriorate mentally as I age. It will hopefully be entertaining for those around me. Hopefully that won't happen though. <laughs> they say that's... <laughs> I just hope that if that ever happens to me, you know, knock on wood, that it's more like funny and entertaining for the people around me and they're not like, oh, he's gone, you know? Uh... Ah, uh, life. Anyway. Sorry, I, now I keep bringing up references to my own mor mortality throughout this VOD. It's because this game is kind of a, you know, it's a microcosm for our lives, Brotato. We simulate the effects of growing old, you know? You experience financial burdens as you rise through the ranks of the game. And you will struggle. You will struggle immensely. I suppose that we'll floor our life steel. Not really sure about this, but the HP is always going to be good. Uh, this doesn't have any life steel in it, does it? No, I mean, ideally we'll get many flaming fists. That would be quite good. But even if we don't, it'll be fine. We will continue to floor the life steel. Let's do that. I'd like to take the experience gain right now, although this is getting a bit dangerous. HP regen isn't really high up enough. Let's reroll once. Uh, we are burning. Yeah, we are burning, so we'd better lock that as well. Attack speed, we have a lot of it. Melee damage. Eh, I'm kind of indifferent toward this. I mean, why spend the money if I'm indifferent, you know? I could save the money. Or is this an ad for Walmart or something? Or who is it that... Walmart. I don't know why I pronounce the T. But they're saying their, their phrase, save money, live better. Sorry, uh, unintentionally being possibly brainwashed by corporations. I like it in there. Some of the time. It's true of just about every store, but especially true of Walmart. Or the one near me, that is. That is to say. 
There's a lot in there. There's a lot happening in that Walmart near me. Sorry, I'm getting caught up in my own personal life now. But that is to say, <laughs> this VOD is going to just be filled with great segues. It's not even a VOD, it's just me talking. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> I like Brotato because it lets me reflect on the day. You know? I can think, I can experience the action, and I can reflect all simultaneously. Very good for headspace, this type of thing. I'll take more elemental damage, because the damage we want to prioritize over the other stuff, of course. Critical hits, I'm not really prioritizing on this run. Uh, maybe I'm an idiot. Actually, let me go ahead and check out. Uh, that might be stupid of me. Maybe I should be doing that. I will take one reroll. I'll take the harvesting. It's still early enough. Um, 0% chance. Critical is just... That's just a normal critical, right? Am I- unless if I'm totally off base in this, in which case I'm going to struggle immensely throughout the run. In which case I'll probably fail, uh, and then the VOD won't even make it onto YouTube. But if I do- but if it does- if I don't, and it does, and then I just stink at it, then it will be all that much more impressive. Which, after all, that is the point of these runs, to do something very impressive. To convince you that I am the best YouTuber. Not only the best at gaming, but the greatest at creating videos. Of course, I'm being facetious. But I'm actually not, though. The great- maybe like... Bro father. Or bro- no, I have no idea. This game is begging for puns to be had about it, though. Bro-tato? What's next? Though there- there may very well be some deep lore here. There may very well be some deep lore, and I am beginning to struggle immensely. Hang on a second, need some truffle trees. Ooh, we are experiencing adversity right now. Hang on a second, we need... Healthcare? We will not- we would not survive this wave if we had to make it through much longer. Lumberjack shirt. Good. Materials. Fortnite style. Ah. You know, I want something immediate, but... I don't think I'm gonna get it. That's not good. Sorry, I'm receiving some text in the background. Very important text. We're good. Alright, uh, harvesting. Minus 8% damage. Maybe a bit... ...too little for right now, honestly, because I do want my damage to remain high. We will floor the crit chance, though. That's fine. Uh... I don't like this at all. I don't like this item. It just doesn't... Uh, it doesn't work for me. I want to get... I want to go up in power, not down. Up, not down. Up instead of down. Whatever it is. Uh, the This item is a lie. I really wish I could afford this. I'm not sure this is worth it. I, I'm going to have to lock in and just be very careful this way because we are experiencing great adversity right now. Yeah. No, no point in re-rolling. Although this is the strong boy mummy rib cage sort of wave that we're going through right now, and perhaps now that I am just mired in skill in this game, you know, flooded with the skill of greater difficulty levels. Yeah, see there, we got some four times material bits. Probably from did we get monkey on this run, or maybe the runs are all blending together because I've now tr attempted this. I want to say fourteen times. 14 times, which speaks to just how good a game this is. I have probably deleted hours of commentary of me saying more or less the same things. Hour after hour. I have a very difficult job playing video games for a living. But it is, uh... Speaking of, speaking of how difficult everything is playing video games... No, I, I love my job. I do. I love my job. Thank you for letting me continue to do it. Or it is it is only because of that why I still get to do this, so thank you. I, I do hope I do hope that the content has led you to something that you enjoy. Um uh six percent damage. I'll take it minus a little bit of range, yeah. Give me that. I'll take more elemental damage. That's good. That's good. Give me more armor. We've already invested enough in whatever we're doing here. The stock market. Stonks. Let's combine these actually. I mean, these are very weak, but let's go ahead and combine these first for some reason. I don't know why. Nothing in moderation. We're just going to go straight for the strong stuff. 
Armor would be okay, but I figure if we've got dodge this high, we may as well focus on dodge, and it generally seems that's that's the play. We will build a tiny bit more engineering, because why not? Ah, uh, the metal plate, do I do it? I just want to up our damage right now, because we need to basically oomph whoever we touch. You know? Like, we need them gone. If we, if we punch them, out, out for good. Out like a light. That's what we need. That's what we need from this run. The one thing I do like about the engineering pickups... Was I talking about something else? I can't remember. I lost my train of thought. The engineering pickups are interesting because they kind of evolve over time. Like, you get different types of turrets. The hands just become stronger hands. Like, imagine if in real life, when you worked out at the gym, you grew another hand or something like that. Like, people were at the gym trying to grow another hand. Like, instead of just getting bigger muscles. I would work out more, man. I would work... I would work out all the time. Think of all the useful things I could do with a third hand. I mean, assuming I didn't freak everyone out, like, oh, where did that come from? And it would be growing out of my back, like... I don't know, like, um... Like... Like I'm one of the X-Men or something like that. Just in a place where it didn't make sense. You know. Like, if you work out your calves enough... You <laughs> where is this coming from? Why do I have these thoughts? Uh... That's what I like, though. This game leads to that area. We we enter this area. Uh, I'll take a little bit more enemies for more damage. Yeah, 5% damage looks great. That looks great. More melee damage is always welcome. Ooh, harvesting, but also that's good HP regen. But we're only on wave 12, so I'll take that. Uh, I think reroll everything. Yeah, none of this is very good for me. Uh, we are flooring lifesteal, so let's go ahead and take that. We will also take... Let's combine two of these and then do that. Actually, did we need to do that? Well, whatever we're doing. It'd be interesting to have one red fist and then a bunch of elemental fists. I, I think I'm just going to scale damage like crazy slightly at the cost of my own max HP now. I'll take this as well. We're not really recycling, so I'm not going to take the recycling machine. I don't need to be a recycling machine. I can just be a recycling normal guy. Oh, I remember now why I thought of growing a hand out of my back. Because, of course, we're playing as a guy with six fists. That's the only thing I would have reasonably thought of. Yes, naturally, that's where the imagination goes. But yeah, that is to say, <laughs> I don't know, I, I hope that Brotato has been discovered by a few of you guys from these VODs or something. I do try to ask people that on Twitch when I'm streaming. Um, like, how many people have, I just make that a point to ask before I play any of the games. Like, how many people have played it? And surprisingly, I always feel like I'm out of the loop. I feel like I'm behind on things. But then maybe it's just due to the atomized nature of social media recommendations, individualistic as they are, that people kind of stay in their own comfy comfy boy sphere of recommended of recommended content <laughs> um you know i'll take the nine percent speed that's not bad you know i'll trade a little bit of it back for more hp and more armor yep that's also pretty good now we have two buffers we have the dodge if we can build dodge and armor hey maybe not really that efficient but Makes me feel better. Oh, wait a second. Did I just take the wrong thing? No, I did want that. Yes. I always think of this as the Napoleon Dynamite item because of the nunchucks. Uh, I do not trust weird ghosts right now. I will take some landmines. No, I mean, generally speaking, they are unacceptable. However, um... I mean, if they're basically just a freebie, it's fine. Ah. What was I saying, though? Social media recommendations. Oh, yeah, um... Individualized recommendations. Yeah, a lot of people like just don't know some of the games that we'll play on the channel And I'm, it always surprises me how many don't and then there are a few folks in in chat Oftentimes who have like 250 hours in the game when it just came out yesterday. And how does that make sense? I don't really know but it is useful to have around and the, the one other thing I'm grateful for as this Community if you will call it has grown uh, Or I don't know folks who watch my videos uh, there always seems to be an expert in chat, so I always learn something too when I'm streaming. Which is the one thing that makes me sad, although I haven't had as much time with my own thoughts, because most of my content has either been heavily scripted lately, or edited, or, uh, or on Twitch, which I do really enjoy, but occasionally it is nice to just, you know, 
spend some time in my own thoughts again. Is this really worth it for our build? Honestly, we do need a bit more of a buffer here. I generally do like Acid as a pickup too, and it's only 4% dodge. I'll take it, unless if we're at like ceiling dodge. Eh. Oh, maybe I'm being stupid now. I still want to keep my damage so I won't take cake. I don't know, I'm being kind of inconsistent. I want my cake and I want to eat it too. Blame me. 40% less damage already though with 10 armor, that might be good. I'd say let's take the elemental damage at this point. Let's focus on damage again. Uh, we will take a baby gecko. Love baby gecko. Not only in game, but in real life. I don't like these standing still upgrades. I'm not a fan of them. They just don't work for me. They're incompatible with me. Uh, I will take the bunny... Ooh, this is kind of counterintuitive, but we're getting kind of late in the game too. But also, I don't want something to go horribly awry. So I'm going to just live with this as is. I like this game though because it has... It's seemingly, like... I don't want to say infinite replayability, but for all intents and purposes, infinite replayability, because it's hard. The higher difficulties are hard. And there are some builds that you need to know exactly how to min-max everything. And I'm talking exactly, uh, if you want to do well with them, because there are some that I just get stumped with. Like multitask, where I was banging my head against a wall trying to figure out how to get it to work. And I'm resisting the urge to just look up a VOD on YouTube of somebody else who has figured it out. Because I think part of the joy in it, I mean, as another YouTuber, I feel like I'd just be repeating what somebody else did, but, um, albeit with my own spin, I'm figuring it out, I'm learning. I'm learning, hang on a second, I'm going to die. I'm not going to die. I affirm my life. Ooh, hang on a second. My livingness. The life force has remained. Laser turret, I will take. Missile? Everyone loves a missile. Yes, I'll take it. Uh, what do we do now? We don't have very good HP regen, so I think just avoid taking the damage in the first place. What does that bring us up to? 46%? Uh, maybe that wasn't useful. I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. I truly don't. Let's take more flaming brass knuckles. Now we could potentially get a red one. Very exciting. Maybe I should have replaced some of those fists by now. Ah, I could have done that. Oh, the opportunity to get a fifth one, though. Uh, we'll probably do this in the next round. Do we have any exploding turrets? I'm not sure. I don't think we do. Incendiary to, uh, flames, so, uh, that doesn't deal elemental. One would think that it would deal elemental. Wouldn't one? Uh, burning damage would be good. And... I suppose I'll lock it in just in case. But here in this wave, we are going to be need to be extremely careful, so I'm going in with great trepidation. Um, I have so far died on like 15 runs so far. But like I said, go pick up Rotato if you haven't. I mean, it's $5. You're really doing yourself a disservice if you don't. This is a great game. Uh, that is to say, if you haven't... I would like to play them in order, though. You know, like for me, as a sommelier of roguelikes, I would like to recommend that you pick up maybe Isaac, maybe even Flash Isaac first. Then you experience pixelated Isaac, you know, Isaac Rebirth. Then you play Vampire Survivors. Then maybe you take a dive into Brotato, maybe? Can I tempt you with a Brotato? I always wanted to be one of those Steam game curators, like you were some cultured, you know, dingus drinking a glass of wine. Recommending games. I recommend Halo Master Chief Edition. That's a game. How have we suddenly powered up? This is senseless to me. Uh, don't want to take this at this point in the game. Ooh, four elemental damage. That's the direction we're going. Yes, I'll have that. Good HP regen is not that bad either. Uh, oh, cool. Okay, this is nice. Yeah, I will take a strange book. Strange me thinks I want to get cool stuff. I don't really know if this is a very good idea, but it's an interesting idea. Yeah, we gotta prioritize getting many flaming knuckles because that's gonna give us the elemental damage. So let's go ahead and combine some of these fists. I'm gonna cancel that. Let's make sure we get this in. That way we get, we get the three, so we get the plus two elemental damage. 
And then I want one red fist, just because mm, it's red. I don't know if it's really as good a play, but it feels cool. <laughs> so I'm doing it. And I do I have anything that's explosive at all? I suppose this technically is an explosion. Yeah, we'll take it. I, I think that works that way anyway. Ooh, very exciting, very exciting. Uh, jetpack? Eh, looks pretty good to me, honestly. I mean, if we can go faster, we could dodge stuff, and I will take this and this. Uh, although, honestly, the crown at this point is not going to be a play. Alien eyes, though, I'll take. We already have many alien eyes. And something is red now in our build. Wow, very cool, very exciting. I still have yet to get that six red item build, though. Which is the reason why I'm tingling. I'm getting goosebumps with anticipation of what might happen in future Brotato runs. I am an excitement. Man, I really speak in an awful way now. Go back to my commentary from years ago and I spoke more like a normal person. Some people are like, are you okay? <laughs> After they come back on the VODs over after a while. It's odd to reflect on what seven years of making YouTube videos and doing other things has changed in me as a person. It's actually one of the reasons I don't show my face on videos. It's because then I would age. Your voice doesn't really change as you get older, though. I always wanted to be, like, anti-aging, you know? I am immortal through my videos. Uh, it does sort of act like that, although I fear what will happen when my grandchildren... If I should ever have grandchildren, find my channel. Oh, God, what was Grandpa talking about there? <laughs> Something awful. Whatever, it's it's fun to imagine. It is. It's fun to imagine. A little bit more HP regen might not be bad here, although it is the minus two melee. We're already at 20, so I'll take it. I think jet jetpack is cool. And that'll make up for this, so that's fine, except that the armor... Or mainly depending on dodge here. Yep, I'm gonna do it, but is there any particular order we need to? We are gonna miss out on one of these. I say we do jetpack, because it's red. And then we are stuck with alien eyes. And then we'll uh, save schmoop. Oh, I forgot to reroll. Uh, like I said, I don't play this game to play it well. I play it because it feels good. Although I do apologize for my mistakes, as I, I know... Many people do watch these, because I suppose I pitch them as like, I'm playing well in the video. I'm not playing well. That's how I got you to click on it. Ha 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 ha. Made you think I'm good at something. Now there are much more cerebral builds, but I just think it's fun to try out new stuff. We need a new word besides cerebral. You know, speaking as not only a gamer, but somebody who majored in English in college, I always thought that the skill of searching for a different word to use was kind of useless, because I spent so many hours writing essays in college. Although it does oddly make, help me lie into sounding more well-spoken, you know what I mean? Here we are, hang on a second, we are actually taking vast hordes of damage right here. Uh, bat! Nah, we're not going for lifesteal. Although this is kind of good at this point in time. Would there, because harvesting doesn't really matter anymore. Past this wave, or past the next wave or so. Eh, you know what, let's, on the off chance that we do manage to get a tiny bit of lifesteal, let's take it. Harvesting is basically useless at this point, we gotta reroll. Elemental, or the HP regen. 1.8 seconds, it might not be bad to have a fallback, but more damage is always good. So yeah, I'm going with it. Uh, I think take all three of these, and then the range... Let's just leave that, reroll. Incendiary turret is okay. I will lock that in. Potentially. Potentially. 4% dodge might not be bad. Get us up to 44, but the harvesting, and do I really want to lose more damage? Eh, but it is 4. I don't know. My gut tells me no. It's not as much fun. Uh, ooh, cute monkey is very useful here. Uh, that is good. I was hoping we would get something to heal us slightly more. I could tactically try to be above the landmines for when they explode. Oh, that one worked out. Look at how large that explosion was. I wonder if I could just spot the landmine and run from landmine to landmine. Hang on a second. I do want to check one thing before this run ends. So far, it's been quite successful. 
Actually, no, this is going to be distracting. I was going to highlight the character. I don't believe there's a way to highlight landmines, but if there were, just so that they kind of pop out, so that you could run from landmine to landmine and visually spot them a bit more easily, I think that would be an intelligent game dev decision should they decide that I am a smart boy and my ideas should be brought into the game. If, if you're watching Blobfish the dev, which, by the way, this game is... It seems to be an outrageous success, and well-deserved. I was looking at some of Blobfish's other works. A couple of other games, like I said, the deep lore of this universe is vast and expansive. This brother potato, this fraternal spud, is the protagonist of the other games. Ooh. Ooh, what happened now? Although that 20 luck is... Mm, that's something. I wish that had come much earlier. Because I don't think it's going to be very useful to us at this point in time. Let's go ahead and see. Melee damage 18. This would really buff that. Or our elemental damage is at a 17. Wow. Um, if only I could check on my other... It'd be nice if I could check on my weapons. Though I think that the melee will affect both the fists and the flaming fists. So it seems to make sense to me here. Unless if that also incorporates burning. Let's just do melee, because I want the immediate thing to be strong. Ooh, and we're going to get a red fist. Wow, for the last round. Very cool. Do we think we could do better here? I think Cute Monkey is going to be good for just gaining a bit more HP here. Uh, incendiary Turret is pretty much hands down a good thing. Landmines is also good, but let's reroll while locking these in. Useless... Uh, not that good. Reroll again. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Not this. Can we get two of these? 264, we're at 178. So we could get both... Uh, we're gonna have to make a choice here. I'm thinking Insanity Your Turret isn't really gonna make a big difference in the wave. Although it is burning damage. Burning damage? Hang on a second. Uh, burning speed, burning spread, burning... Not sure if that's actually upgraded. Uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna go with the metal, because the metal just seems to buff me a little bit more. I've pretty much already floored crit, right? Yeah, so we we'll might as well just leave it there. Metal and landmines, and then live with whatever my horrible decision is. We got only to the elemental that way. Ah, uh, you know, I could've gotten the upgrade, but whatever, we're living with it. Can't change anything else, we're going in for the final wave. Wave 20, and we did get, like, a decently plausible to be beaten boss. Oh, I think I just totally dodged that. Yeah, this is going to be okay. Now, I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty. To be fair, judge me now. Hear me now. Judge me. Believe me later. Decide whatever you will. Second, I do want to concentrate and make sure I win this. It's actually surprisingly easy. I used to think that this was a very hard fight, but that does show that I am gaining skill at something that is absolutely useless in our society, which is playing video games. Ooh, hang on a second. I need some things. I'll take some materials, I'll recover some HP. I have improved again. Please don't take my life. Why is he not dead? Okay, there we are. Good. Phew. Oh, I've tried to record this 15 times and I've failed every single one. So, now I have... Ooh, Power Fist! This is a new item! Wow, I didn't know I was gonna unlock something new. Yeah, I just always get that good unlocking smell whenever I return to this. Now, I mean, I'm not bragging, but that was danger level zero for anyone who wants to know. But yeah, no, a very good time, Brotato. Oh, this also is oddly shaped like an egg slash potato, I meant to say, whatever it is. Brotato, a good game. I hope you try it.